How many goals has Messi scored for Barcelona in 778 games? B. B. What did you say? D. What did you say? D. 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 Uh, Someone no. has got. Oh, no! No! Hey guys, and welcome to the Touchline Podcast, Episode Seven. And before we get into the video, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and follow us on our social media accounts on TikTok and Instagram. So let's get into the video, boys. Yeah, let's yeah, get into um, it, man. Well, as you can see, Anthony's not here. Um, he's going to be away for three weeks. Um, he's on a trip to Lebanon. He so the fucking podcast. Yeah, he's done. he'll be missed, but <laughs> the podcast must continue. Yeah, no, that's it. I hope you're having fun there, Anthony. I know you're watching this. We miss you. We miss you, man. I know. I know all the fans miss you too. You know, yeah. we know you're with us in spirit. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's it. it. That's it. Okay, first topic, uh, Andrew Tate being arrested. Okay. Yeah, man, that's, that's, a, that's a big topic. Yeah, that's, it that's, is. That's, that's, yeah. that's been everywhere, man. Right. Yeah. But I think, bro, you, you obviously heard about yeah, the heard about it, yeah. as I said, it's been everywhere. Like he was arrested for human trafficking. Human trafficking, rape, right. rape investigation. Yeah, no, it's not rape. It's, uh, that's what I heard. I think no, I don't rape. Human trafficking is not rape. No, no. Uh, as, as, well. human, as well as rape nah, investigation. Oh, maybe. But, so no, that, that's, that's not even it. It's not even human trafficking. Uh, apparently, it's uh, something to do with money laundering. <laughs> Ah, okay, so they yeah. denied they denied it was human trafficking. So I'm um, I don't know what's happening there, but that's that's how you know they they're out to get him, man. Yeah, yeah like to take. He he said something about how that they don't want him to speak because like, he's, exactly. he's such a big um he right, calls, a big figure in the world. Like kids look up to him, and just everyone's uh, just it's, it's on he's on everyone's lips at the moment. Yeah. Just yeah. on TikTok, his videos going viral, and he goes, "Oh, if they arrest me or if they kill me." It's because I'm saying the like, truth. That's, that's the matrix. What he says yeah, most of like, the matrix. I, I, I agree like what he says sometimes yeah, yeah. on his like TikTok. No, no, bro. Like, but, most of the shit he says is like other yeah, than his, uh, yeah, yeah. his comments about women or whatever. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah. Some, of, some, some of what he says is bullshit. Yeah. But nah, man. Like, but he's bringing masculinity back to men, bro. Like, yeah, that's yeah. why they're out to get him. The yeah. matrix. The yeah, left, no, side, he's exposing bro, the left side of, of, the, of the world. There are totally different you know, ideologies about certain topics and whatever. Yeah, yeah. He's going the opposite. He's making, he's, he's honestly waking, waking us boys up yeah, to yeah. like everything, man. That's why he's like, to, like, to be us men, bro, yeah, to yeah. be men. That's, and, uh, and that's why he's getting, he's getting like uh, yeah, a lot arrested of, for Yeah, um, a lot of the points he makes like are so true. Not, yeah. not about like, but like about um like boys and all that, but yeah. just about the world and the like, um the, how everyone's fake. Like you don't see yeah. what's yeah, um, real, behind, real the behind the scenes. scenes. Exactly, so, like, bro. Like, that's, that's, that's his main thing. That's his, that's what he goes by. See, like, like, yeah. No, no, keep going. The government will do anything like, the police the government will do anything just to make sure the the truth stays behind i see what he yeah. tweeted about um if they kill me i yeah. love you guys yeah. Yeah. No, he, yeah he's been he's caught it he's like i have three lives the first life he's already wasted they probably got warned him when yeah. he got cancelled he's like the, i got three lives first one was when i get when i got cancelled we got cancelled second one they, they're gonna arrest me yeah. which is got arrested now yeah. third one they're gonna kill him Shit. honestly boys i wouldn't be surprised yeah. if they yeah. kill him I don't, later. I don't think he cares as well because bro as i said it's the it's the left side of the world they got their own ideologies and they don't like what he's saying yeah, yeah. but he's yeah. bro, like the she like honestly like it's motivated me i know it's, i'm sure it's motivated yeah. you boys yeah, yeah. No, it it's honestly it's working me up it's like bro like as in training wise and yeah, yeah. you know the way the way we think it's just very really like I don't know, man. I'm it's like he's, I don't know, preparing us for something. No, not preparing. No, it's just, like, that's the way it should be. Yeah, yeah. But boys shouldn't be fucking, you know, you know, like we cunts or whatever. Yeah. Like, you should be fucking men. Mm, that's how, that's that's how right. they, they, they were back in the day. That's what he's trying to bring back. Change now. And the world, they don't, want, they don't like what he's saying right now. See? Yeah. And they talk about, like, there's there's no freedom anymore. Like, um, especially in America, like, everything's corrupted. Yeah. And so, you just, you got to follow their rules. Like, and then you can't, you can't do what, Ever makes you feel comfortable yeah. there's always something holding you back and even like see what um kanye west said once yeah. like they're not going to control me like he's talking about Dwayne kanye West is a, all is these types of things he's another form of crazy man but andrew tate andrew tate but, but he's been locked up for 30 days he's in uh, the oh, 30 days. Uh, he's uh, him and his brother oh. in the romanian jail that's one of the, the scariest jails in the yeah, world yeah. you got cockroaches spiders roaming around it's not like a clean jail yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah, okay. even like the biggest guys in america that have been to jail they're scared it's about, about remain like they so always say do you reckon he's got arrested for like for the right reasons or it's for something else? look i'm not going to defend him maybe he did something bad yeah, maybe, yeah. He did. maybe he actually did something bad but like what everyone's been saying and what i've been yeah, thinking something. is yeah. they they want to shut him up it's more they want to yeah. shut him and his brother like up. even what you said about what he like there's three like like he's got three lives three left lives. about yeah. he gets arrested they cancel they canceled first and then arrested, arrested and then next, killed yeah honestly bro he's he's said on many podcasts many interviews that yeah. He's, he's, it didn't and come as a, as a surprise thing. Yeah, I don't reckon he's going to stop. I think no he's going to keep Because he no. said, no one will stop me. No, no, no. It's 
as, I, as we say, we don't agree with everything what he says, yeah, but, but he's, like he's even, doing good, man. He mentioned something about Illuminati, I think, yeah. and how a lot of celebrities sold their soul to the devil. Yeah, he exactly. goes, I wouldn't do it for nothing. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. He, he won't stop. No, he's a good guy too, he man. He's like, a good guy. Like, yeah. 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 What he like, teaches, like, most of what he teaches is yeah. like, I feel like it's the good. Right. Yeah. It's actually good. That's, oh, that's why I can't believe he, like, he got cancer first time and now... Like separate to the situation, yeah, maybe yeah. like he did something, but do you reckon, like, knock on wood, but do you reckon this year, like, it might happen this year, but they might, like, if he keeps, if he, if keeps, he keeps being out, because you know what the funny thing is, this is back to my point about the left side of the world. Greener, like Greta Thunberg, the one, the climate activist, whatever. No, you know, surely, surely, you know, I'll, sh I'll show you. Greta Thunberg, she, oh, she, up here, she uh, oh, yeah, yeah actually, put up yeah. there, you're, you're connected. Well, long story short, she, she's like, I think she's like 18 now. She promotes like climate um, climate change or whatever. I fixed the. She promotes like we should we should stop doing things to prevent climate change and whatever. And then she got in a bit of a feud with uh, Andrew Tate online. Yeah. Bit of a feud and. Uh, also, I know, she's I know, against him. Uh, yeah, she's against it. And Andrew Tate spoke back, and I don't know, I don't know what the full conversation was. It was on TikTok. Yeah. And uh, what's her name? Greta Thunberg, right? Like G R E T A. G R E T A. And then space thunder T H U N B E R G. Yeah, R G. B E R G. E R G. Yeah, bro, but uh, have you seen her? Oh, oh yeah, 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 her. Yeah. her. I can't oh, say her fucking her, guts. Bro. I hate looking at her face. The, Anyways, yeah, I hate that. They girl. got in a bit. Oh, up before you exit. Go on, um, right, Greta Thunberg, Andrew Tate. When she spoke about my country, that's what she went. Yeah, 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 and go. It's it's the weirdest. Yeah, yeah. It's the weirdest coincidence. Um. It's Go, go, maybe it's I hear you. What was Greta trying to yeah. Yeah, Go, go on. Let me just see the actual... Uh, yeah, the tweet. Tweets. Uh, he's, he's not recording. All uh, right. Screen recording. Oh, you're not recording? Oh, screen recording. Yeah, no. Screen recording. Yeah, but so what does it say? So the yes, viewers say well, once he wants to screen records and then uh, go uh, quick time. Yeah. Then go back there, yeah. Yeah, so like everyone's out to get him. Yeah, everyone's out no. to get this man, man. But look, 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 click, click, shovel. Yeah, that's it. All right, so Andrew Tate was like, hello, at Gre Greta Thunberg. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has a W16, eight, eight liter quad turbo. My two Ferrari, 800, uh, 812, what is it? Com 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 whatever that is, has a 6.5 liter V12s. This is just the start. Please provide your email address so I can send a complete list of my car collection <laughs> and their and their respective enormous so emissions. What was her like? What was she arguing with him about? About um, she's against what? Like now that she's against like exactly what you said, like emissions and yeah, yeah. climate change. Uh, that's yeah, what she's trying she's to prevent it. That, yeah. so that's the left side. Like they've they've uh, you know that's why I said they put her on a pedestal. Yeah. Um, these politicians. And then uh, she replies, "Yes, please do lie to me. Email me at uh, smalldickenergy at getalife.com." Yeah. After, but this this is not the crazy part. This the, after that, two days later, he gets arrested. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I mean, that that sounds like a. Well, so do you feel? She's, you feel she's. It's involved. a weird coincidence. It's she's no, but, de definitely oh. something because they love this oh, girl. They, yeah, that's they love, their yeah. darling, bro. The, the left, oh, and she's Romanian. No, she's not Romanian. Yeah. I don't know what she nationality is, but the left, that's what that's their darling. Like the, yeah. anyone touches yeah. her, you're gonna get killed. Or you been her. Yeah. Oh. So. My thing is that it's a weird coincidence. Yeah, man. it is weird. Who so, knows, who knows? Like, as you said, no one knows the truth in anything. Oh man, but hopefully it gets out, man. I'll, I'm, bro, this, this cool. guy is good for the world. Free our boy Tate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's it. But no, uh, he's he's good for the world, man. But like, it's sad if he eventually does get killed. Fuck. But I don't know. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. Um, hopefully everything goes well for him. He gets out and then continues what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, honestly, yeah. Don't, let, everyone. Don't, don't let anyone stop you. So, honestly. um, yeah. So, All right, so next topic, boys. Our top three ball predictions for NRL, just to switch up the topic. Yes, yeah. change it up a bit. It's, so, yeah, it's, yeah. I, I think Fox League um, revealed their ones, like their top 50 yeah. ball yeah, predictions. Yeah. So we thought we might hop on the train we'll do, there. We'll do it ourselves. Do it ourselves. So, yeah. right, so, so Bill, what's your so three ball Each of us prediction. have three. So yeah, so we'll make it quick. But yeah, yeah go. All right, so my, my first one, Bulldogs to make the top eight. Yeah, I reckon yeah, that's I, a... Yeah. I reckon that's Bulldogs, a... It's, it's bound to happen yeah. this year, man. Surely the team we got lined up, still no halfback, but we'll make the top eight for sure, man. Look, hopefully we make... like. We, we say it every year. Yeah, like, no, but I, 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 I mean it this year, man. And I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. I think we can make top eight. Yeah. yeah. But then I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to expect low, uh, like have low expectations. So then I'm, I get like, cause for, so then I get excited that, okay, yeah. yeah we that it. Previous yeah. years, like I always like, 
expected high of the yeah. team, but now I'm yeah. just gonna take it game by game and see no, where the surely because you can't to. you can't say we can't make a top eight. Well, no, we, we can. I'm, we saying, got, I'm saying we can make the top yeah. eight, but I'm gonna like it's too early. But I was saying if we yeah. finish tenth or ninth, I'm happy. Yeah, and honestly, I'm, before, I was gonna write top six. Yeah, yeah before Fox League, I think it was Fox League. Yeah. They posted that Bulldogs or Broncos could break the top four. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised because there's like the statistics that back up why yeah, they think yeah, dogs could yeah. make like, a top four. If you look at Sharks now, how oh no, sorry, not Sharks, Cowboys, they just jumped in top four. I don't know. So yeah. if we can do that, like Marnie, Kikau, yeah, yeah. Kikau. we've got such a strong yeah, team right. now, and like yeah, so who knows? Like top eight could yeah. could, could be um, the year for us to get top eight. Yeah, nah. So the next one, New South Wales wins the Origin Series this year, two to one, because I, I yeah. think it's going to happen. Honestly, yeah, you got first game in Adelaide. New South Wales will win that. I think we'll win the first two. Well, we'll Brisbane, it's in Brisbane's second game. Oh, second game. So I'm, I'm saying Queensland. Queensland, yeah, then we'll and then and New cool. South Wales, game three, we win. I yeah, I think, yeah. I've, like, I feel New South Wales, like, we ha we have a stronger team, of course, but yeah. I feel they have a mentality problem where we're they're always going them. easy. Yeah. yeah. They think, oh, this is going to be uh, like a, a walk yeah. yeah, like, see, game one last year, how we lost, I think, yeah. what was the score? Like, 12, 12, 12, 12 10, two, something yeah. like that. So, because it's like control, yeah, yeah, at their home ground, they feel yeah. like the fans will be behind them. Yeah. They're gonna have that that extra boost to win the game. But it, you can't, you can't you have can't. an ego on your man. You Origin, you need to be ready, prepared. We expect like, yeah. We all know like Queensland's more passionate. Than yeah. And like you yeah, think no, they'll no, learn from their right. lesson back in 2020. Was it 2020 oh, when yeah. they won? Who, who, who with their youngest are? team, yeah, Queensland? Yeah, yeah, 2020. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, honestly, they should have learned their lesson. They. But I'm saying this year we get it done for sure. I don't know. I'm gonna. I think Queensland go might go back to back. All right, that's what yeah. I think. All right. yeah. Who's the Who's the coach? Uh, Slade. 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 Yeah. He done yeah, a good he, job he, he, he last year. So yeah, it'll be it'll be a good origin. Could so, be Brad Fielder's last one too. Yeah, I reckon. If he like loses it. Nah, he should. He, they shouldn't send him out. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, for my last one, Alex Johnston to be the top five all-time try scorer. It's yeah. gonna happen. What's man. he on? He's only got. I think. Uh, what is it? What's he on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think he's on. <laughs> fuck, I actually don't know. Um, if you want to search it up, but I saw this stat. If he only needs another eleven, games, nah, right. one, yeah. he only needs another eleven games to be to be in the top five. So it's bound to happen this year, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but he, yeah. he he's such an like underrated player. Like he he scores it's like he's always a top scorer in every season. He just gets fed, fed the ball and then that's it. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's such yeah. a good player, man. And yeah. twenty six only. Like oof. he's yeah. been in the game for like six. I reckon. Seven, I reckon by the end of his career, he'll be like he'll be at a least top. top, top two, I reckon. To, no, I reckon top. You reckon? Yeah. I reckon maybe second. Who's top? Top is um, that old fuck, that old footy player. Oh, really? Footy's name. Yeah, but um, even Brett Morris is up there. Yeah, Brett, Brett Morris, Morris is, yeah. There, 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 that's it. Nah, but um, he'll, he'll, he'll definitely be up there, man. That tries. Oh, it's not. It's not. Nah, Saka no. Saka no. We know he's got a lot. Really, he's, 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 he's on the verge of being top five. Yeah, I think he's top five. Yeah, so. So, Chabelle, you want to say your prediction? Yeah, so my one, I've got Ills to finish out. Ills to finish outside the top eight. Ills to finish outside the top eight. Yeah. The reason yeah. why I feel this could be the year they finish out the top eight because first they don't they're unsure whether Mitchell Moses will stay at the club. They've lost key players like Reed Marnie. I think it's he's bouncing Bruce Wanya. No, but Dylan Brown just signed. No, but I think I saw Oh I maybe Moses. Yeah. They, they've lost a lot. Stays and that's a big boost. That's a big boost, yeah, but saw, again they've lost key players. Yeah. Reed Marnie Papalihi, who were like probably the, the, the best players in their team. Yeah. Yeah. For the last couple of years and but again they've gained a lot of plays but i just feel they're going to struggle next year and losing that grand final it's going to really like have an impact like, like effect on grand them finals usually um make the best get motivate the best them. like they you got to lose a grand final to win one to so win one. Look, at, look at the panthers in uh, look, 2020. you know that's why it's called a bold prediction like you you don't know but i th i think they'll, they'll make that i think they'll get out if, this year. if they do make the top eight perfect eight because they, they got Josh Hodgson from Raiders. Yeah, but he's got side. injury problems. Yeah, ACL I feel injuries. I feel like, their, their premiership window is over. Like, yeah, no, I, I think that's it. I think yeah. they're not winning anymore. That's it. They <laughs> that's shouldn't it. be even considered the premiership contenders. <laughs> Brad Arthur, I even think he might get sacked this year. Relax, Andrew. Relax, relax. relax, relax. relax. You're going to hear it. Yeah, um, yeah no, but it, it was, yeah, they'll yeah, finish yeah, out yeah, the top, okay, yeah. outside the top eight. Me, this will like get people like wondering if it's true, but I think Burden could get Dalian next year. Dalian. Delian. Hopefully. Me, like, if we, and if we have a good season, just think about it. If yeah. dogs have a, like, perfect season, he could be, like, up there to win that, yeah. that medal. Oh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be, Hopefully like, like, it's, because you got clear, the likes of Cleary, Hines, like, yeah, of course, like it's a, they're always favourites. But Burnham, if he, like, step, steps up another gear 
and the team just gels together, who knows? He, he, he could be. I mean, I just pulled it, I, but I feel Latrell will win the Dalian Dali next yeah. year. That's what I feel, but I'm just putting it out there like Burden could have a chance next yeah, year. Yeah, if he, if he has the honestly, even better season, better season than he had yeah, last yeah. year. I yeah. think he will because bro, like every time you like you 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 grow as a full, football player, you just get better and better. So he's learning more, and it just it's gonna be um time will tell like if it will, if it will happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My last one is David Fafita to leave the Gold Coast Titans. Um, That's yeah. something I think should happen. Yeah, I think it has. I to. If he wants to like really step up, like. Step on another level for his career. He has to move to a bigger club. That's why I couldn't believe when Shop left. Like, you go into a club that's fucked up. Not going yeah, yeah. shit, bro. That's Honestly, it. he's down their coach. Like, they still have Justin Holbrook. I yeah, think so, yeah. yeah. He, their coach isn't the best. And, like, of course, like. They're building nothing like He probably had no, like, um. That was his only like um, chance to like, because yeah. probably no other club was interested. Yeah. I see David Fafida. So if he it. leaves the club, I feel he's going to be one of the best second roles in the game. Yeah, he's so, yeah, yeah, so, he's so like, good. Like, yeah, it's yeah. so hard to tackle him. Like, like, and I, even like I know it's a fantasy, but the points he gets is just unbelievable. Yeah, for I, that type of position. Exactly, yeah. man. If he leaves that team, yeah, like, like if he goes to like a rooster, I say roosters should sign him. Yeah, imagine him at roosters. He, he, even like, nah, we don't need him. Oh. Like, I wouldn't mind. Too. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, honestly, but, like, we could use. Him. But oof, we're buying so many players. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm scared. Wait, well, honestly, oh, no, no, I'm being serious. Like. Could we potentially go get over the salary cap soon? No, no, no way. No. I, I know, like, no, Gus, so. Gus has, he, Gus has he under control. He won't put that in that situation. Oh, yeah. He came for that reason. Out of no I'm, I'm scared that that might be on the headlines of every news Who knows, a couple of years will oh, please win a premiership and then we get stripped off. Maybe, maybe a couple of Unbelievable the signings we have, we've had so far. Yeah, it's yeah, been good. The signings we had has been crazy. No, no way. And because think about it quickly, Panthers, didn't buy players they just built from the academy exactly so i know what you mean like yeah. we could be spending too much money who knows but i think they increased the, the salary cap. yeah they yeah increased they increased it. 500 000. yeah okay yeah something that's, samuel that's your turn like, um okay so my first one is tim sheens to guide the tigers back to the finals now i, I don't think this will happen but like, that's it's why it's a bold, bold prediction. prediction yeah i think but you're, not, you're gonna believe that bold prediction it's not you're a bad believe. shout because again they've signed Coruscant, they've signed Papalihi. They signed David Klemmer. Yeah. They have um, Tim Sheens, Benji Marshall, Marshall Robbie Ferris. I like, feel they're, it's like what dogs are trying to do. They're trying to yeah, replicate exactly. what we're trying to yeah. do. I feel they're so, in year one of yeah, what yeah, dogs were in 2020. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, right. like how many times when we 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 sign players, we yeah. thought oh, okay, it takes time, maybe top eight, yeah. like, and then we just. Because we get excited, oh, a new signing, like we just want the best. And, exactly. then, and again, they're bringing that, all comes crashing that down, like back to reality. Okay, yeah. now we've got to take time. They're yeah, bringing exactly. the DNA back to that club. Like us, we've got the DNA back to the club, and that's what and also, Tigers can do. Good yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, like, I hope yeah. Tigers do good because yeah. I always had like some, a soft spot for them. I know, give us, I have nothing against nah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always said that's my second club. Oh, yeah, you did before. So, yeah, who knows? I hope they go into the finals. Um, But speaking of that, last time they made the eight was in 2011. So they're on the like, 12 year, uh, 13 12 year, year draft, something yeah. like that. Hopefully so it's, it's overdue. Um, but yeah, um, next one, Melbourne Storm to finish outside the top eight. For this one, for me, I, I maybe, honestly, maybe, yeah. I think of it. The Bromwich brothers, Bromwich brothers left. That's a lot of experience for them. Brandon Smith left. Pappenhausen still injured. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then the four big players out of their squad. Then. When if Smith, you look at last, yeah, I said that. If you oh, look yeah. at last year; they were struggling even with those players. Yeah. So, so now with them out of the team, they could it could go. And like Pappenhausen's like, a big asset in that team. Without him, they they really struggle. Well, he's going with our turbo now to, um, yeah, to the US, so you yeah. never know how he comes out of it. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. But is it, where, when's he coming back? Is it round one? Is he, is he, I don't know. He's due, he's due for round one. Yeah. But so, again, I don't think that will happen. But again, it's like it's that's what bold predictions about. Yeah. The the so the last time they missed the eight was in two thousand and two. So See. it's been 21 years. Fuck, bro. But that's, they, that's well, they once me. missed it in 20, 2010, but, but that was because of yeah. um, about what happened. The salary salary cap. Cap. Yeah. If you look at all the wins, they would have been in the top eight. So technically, 2002 was the last time they. they Fuck, man. They, what a they, team, man. Like, what a wow. team. Bellamy is like. Bellamy, yeah. Bellamy, yeah. Bellamy, yeah. <laughs> if you look, like, what's going to happen when he leaves? Yeah, that's going to be. Smith left, Slater left, Cronk left, and then he's the only one. Yes. So, yeah, and talking about Papanhausen. Will either Tom Trebojevic or Ryan Papanelson retire this season? Nah. Since they're going together to the US, they're going to... Didn't Papanelson have concussion Papanelson problems? Papanelson had concussion problems a lot. Exactly. And, and yeah. I think like that's a big factor when you play footy because it could really affect you. For sure. And then 
he he's gonna think oh it's, it's gonna affect me my family i feel so he has a higher chance of retiring than turbo yeah turbo yeah so it was just a hamstring injury. Was injury when yeah. injuries get like boyd cordon i think he he retired because of concussion it was like yeah. 28 when it keeps happening you just start to realize okay it's no, not good for your health i'm gonna stop yeah so yeah like it's i don't think it will happen but it it, it could happen no so. hear him We'll see. We'll see how happens, but hopefully, my man, hopefully it's, it's not, such a such because a great these, talent. these two players always every season getting injured. Papenhausen he comes back and gets injured the same game. Like yeah, it, it's just it's, the it's bad luck, man. man. It's bad. Him and Chaboyev, it's always the best players. I yeah, and it's too. and the humble players too. Like these two players are the best players. Exactly. Like, if, like on and off the pitch. So like hopefully like everything goes well for them. The US um, rehab really helps them. Yeah. Like you see with John Mitchell, as we said before. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, who knows? So, but, yeah. Yeah, that's a wrap to the top three bold, bold predictions. predictions. We'll look but, back at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, we should. We should. Yeah, yeah, we'll look back at it. But, anyways, we've got some up, updates on the Bulldogs line. Bulldogs, Bulldogs are training. If you want to read it, up, like, read um, the news. So, during the, uh, this is, I don't know, I don't know where the source came from, honestly. Uh, someone, some intel from uh, Doggy's training. Uh, so let me bring out what I saw on uh, official fan page of Bulldogs on Instagram. It's a quick, quick shout out. Yeah. Um, so a bit of intel out of the Doggies team. Just remember, this can change with players' performances during the trials, but start making plans for the following. So the new bloke from Para, yeah. Hayes uh, Perham, is getting the first team reps at fullback. Jake, Ar- uh, Jake Avarillo is training at right center. Braden Burns is training both sides, but is being preferred on the left due to his time being coached there by Cameron Serrato in the Panthers' lower grades. And Alamoli, not totally out of the picture, but has seen, uh, but he's seen as young, raw, and carrying many injuries already. Yeah, that's true. That's cool. like, what do we say? Uh, that w- I don't think that would be lying because someone probably was there at the training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they, they, yeah, like, I don't see that being a rumor. No, no, that's no, actually, no, it's not a rumor. That's what I'm saying. It's it wouldn't be made up. But you, you never know what, what people So say. let's first talk about Kiraz. Um, oh, sorry, not Kiraz. I've really moved it to center. Do you reckon now that's going to mean? Kira's go for Kira's go no, back. No, 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 it's, it's, it's the yeah, I'm younger. saying that. That's what I'm saying. Do you reckon Kira's or this youngster will go fullback? Oh, but they're already saying they're trying to they're yeah, training Hayes at fullback. Uh, fullback. Yeah, but maybe for the New South Wales Cup. No, this no, is no, no, it's, it's, this is this is, the, is first grade. Oh, is he training? Yeah, yeah. First first oh, that's why Avrilo is yeah. moving centre. But yeah. again, I thought this is going to really affect Avrilo. Yeah, he was, he was a gun at fullback, man. Eight, eight, I think it was ten tries at the end of the season at fullback. Yeah, do we really want to like? How old is he? Like. Uh, uh, let's Chris, that's, but do we really want it so, like, to again why would, that's fresh into the team just to quickly exactly you don't know let Avrilo have his preseason in fullback yeah. see how he goes because he didn't have a preseason at um, last exactly. 22 fullback 22. 22. No, I'm talking about the other guy no I'm not Jacob Avrilo man no. you just uh, said Jacob Hayes no Hayes Burn Hayes Burn no, I've never seen his book in my life to like so he's now I think he's like 19 but probably 23, 23. Oh, he's not he's not young it's oh, probably his natural, natural position. He probably hasn't had a lot of NRL game time. But yeah. again, so, why will not like change something when it's working perfectly? Like Avrilo's doing, Avril doing, doing good at fullback. Why exactly. change it? Give him the full preseason. Yeah, exactly. If he flops, then you move him on. Get Crichton yeah, in that fullback. I think Avrilo should stick at fullback, but yeah. you don't know, like, shop leaving, so you don't know what's going to happen with this squad. You don't even, like, I feel the forward pack's, like, um, um, like cemented. We know roughly who's going to play, but I think the back line is still a bit few few positions that we, we're not sure yet fullback yeah. center exactly so yeah it's going to be surprising how what the round one yeah but we'll um, see maybe maybe, like. maybe this Hayes Hayes guys maybe good, yeah, like, oh, we, can't, we can't say anything, can't say anything. We've never seen yeah anything. I don't speak too soon but yeah, yeah. I think um, he played a few games for it was towards the end of the season did he maybe he did yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure I've watched, watched him, so. I've never heard of him Who knows? Uh, so good. Braden Burns what are we saying is they're, they're trying to they're training him on both sides but uh but being uh but he's being preferred on the left side due to his time being coached with uh, so like either, either side just put him in like but they're trying because he because he trained with Serrano so right in the Panthers side. lower grades so he, that that's, still that's, be what, that's what they're trying to Kira's do Kira's side or Adekar? I think the Fox maybe Kira's um, yeah. oh, no, no Adekar. left side no, Adekar. Adekar. Adekar, yeah. again I, like, I want him to be that like I want that to be his position because yeah. again yeah I, I feel he's, a, a he's such a player, player. He's, he's, he's a very good player people don't rate him that highly but I feel in my I feel maybe this would be his last year and then someone would replace him like cried and apparently signed yeah so then he'd probably come in maybe replace him so i don't know it's, it's unofficially signed yeah unofficially unofficially signed. so it's gonna as i said it's gonna be we still don't know how the team's gonna look like yeah we're not sure it's and all about the preseason we don't know who... how 2023 2023 is gonna look like 2024 so exactly it's everything's all what i'm saying bro like if this is our plan about the whole shop, shop leaving situation this and plan hopefully works out but fuck bro why do we get rid of if they're not if they're not, There's using, no replacement. They're not using alamori they're, yeah, they're like, saying like he's too injury prone or whatever i thought the plan was to use so again alamori. if that's the case if he doesn't actually start for what's his name alamori. again yeah then 
there's something behind like more than just football. Because, yeah, like, because we've said it so many people. times. Like the way Shop was playing, like he, he was on the rise of being like yeah. a, a, a very good sensor. And just now, all of a sudden, we saw him sold and. Yeah, just, just confused. We saw that. Yeah, the, was, the, I want to know. I want to, the real like, reason why. Maybe one day he'll. But you know what? You know what? I'm on Instagram. I'm fucking. I'm gonna DM. I'm not sure. Why'd you leave me? Why'd you leave me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. fucking love you. He loves the Bulldogs. He said, "I want to say it." Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that he just leave like that. And it came so unexpectedly. He had a very good season last year. And why would we be that stupid to say? Exactly, bro. Yeah, bro. It's so again. That's why I feel that it's because. There's something behind the scenes we don't know about. Bill has been busy this like whole yeah, yeah. like Jackson like, like leaving. out of nowhere leaving, shop out of nowhere leaving. But a lot of a lot of good things coming out of Bill. Yeah, too, still, yeah, yeah. So, Kiko just came into um, his first training yeah, session yeah. the other day. The whole yeah, man, he, he, man, he looks good in that kit, the yeah, jersey. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah, he looks yeah, so yeah. good. We saw him last year. Well, remember oh that yeah, photo? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been a quick time flies. Yeah, I know. We're like, oh, how long until like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Nah, man. Yeah. Yes. All right, boys. Um, last episode, we talked about the Panthers um, and the Roosters back-to-back premiership squad and which one was better. We all agreed it was Penrith, but a few of the comments on TikTok said otherwise. They believe that all of them. All of them. Yeah, let's yeah, have a look at them. All of them said Roosters. And yeah, so we'll have a look at them quickly before we get on to this new segment called Combine More, where we combine all the Roosters and the Penrith squad and see individually which... Um, um, play is better in each position. So Easy. yeah. So September twenty one boy, um, said yeah, Roos- yeah someone yeah. Roosters had better halves and backs. I think it will be tight as though. Yeah. So I think yeah, it's gonna fair be enough, tight. Fair, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Point. Chitty right. said Storm twenty seventeen. He just got another. I wouldn't say Storm twenty seventeen. Yeah. yeah I'm just well, maybe saying, so he's saying that team's better than both these. Oh uh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it. <laughs> No, um, Luffy also believes that Roosters 1890 team is better than yeah. the Panthers team, yeah, yeah. And also, well, I'm not gonna go through all of it, they've all agreed Roosters are better. Team. No, no one agreed with us, you know, no one agreed with us. Like, we're gonna go through it now, but like, before we go on, I've, as I've said a, a number of times, individually, I feel maybe yes, they have the better players, as a team, but as a team, Panthers are way better. Um, like, if you look at it, we mentioned it last episode, Roosters have 15 losses. In those two seasons, Penrith Panthers had seven losses, and technically five because two of them they had the, their oh, whole squad was on Origin duty. So yeah. if you look at it, five losses to um, fifteen losses—that's a massive difference. But yeah. What Carl said today was like, as in the seasons, the com- yeah. you compare the seasons between eighteen, nineteen, and yeah. twenty, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever. Who those those players were versing like Roosters? Exactly. The players compared to and now, they, they had COVID and whatever going on. Fair enough point. I get it. But as you said, man, individually, yeah. very good players, Roosters. Roosters. Yeah. But as a team, Panthers, man. Okay, so we'll, we'll get we'll yeah, get we'll right get into it. it. Um, okay, so we're going through the um, one to thirteen, um, comparing each player and team, which one's better. So um, we'll go first, James Tedesco or Dylan Edwards. Me, I think it's like a pretty like easy yeah, one to was, answer. I think Tedesco, Tedesco. Yeah, Tedesco. during that time, the back to back, he won a daily daily M fullback of the year in twenty nineteen. Dylan Edwards did with a winner Clive Churchill, but again, compared to what he achieved Tedesco and it's like the great season he had that year, I feel it's Tedesco all day long. Like State of Origin player, man. Yeah, yeah like, I feel player. like Dylan Edwards is such it's an underrated, underrated player. player. Like yeah, he, right. he does so much and no one really recognizes it. And we're not saying that he's a bad player. Of course, he's, he's a brilliant player, but of course, you'd always have Tedesco. You know why no one really talks about like he's a gun player, Uns- but Unsung you got the, yeah, the likes of Cleary, the likes of Cleary, yeah, Tyler, yeah. Lord, so, of course, he will focus on them. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's where the main focus is at. Like even when you want that Clive Churchill, how yeah, none, none of the like, players they really like. You yeah, know, yeah. I don't know, like, compared to Cleary, when he was a Cleary that one of the yeah, year before, they all jumped, all jumped on him. People might not see anything in it, but I just feel it's a bit weird that they didn't. Well, you're actually. saying that like uh, they got someone against Dylan. Edwards. I don't know. Just, no, but that was very weird. Like, he, he he was looking at him all like he's expecting them all to. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, but I think there was a bit. I saw something. I think that was celebrating with him before. I don't know, man. Like, like, they just they knew that like, he's gonna win it. Yeah. So James Tedesco, we all agree. Yeah, on. I think Tedesco. Um, yeah. next one, Daniel Tupo or Taylor May. I think. Uh, yeah, Tupo. Tupo, yeah. Yeah. I gotta say that. 2019, Tuba had 15 tries, and May last year got 16 tries. Yeah, yeah, but May only just started. Yeah, true. So yeah. I think Daniel Tupo. 
How many years were, uh, in was Tupo in uh, in 2019? Uh, he started like he started 2012. He started 2012, so that would have been like his six, seven, seven eight yeah. years, seven years. So Taylor so, May, I think he debuted. Of last course, we put Tupo, but if May, Taylor May was to have a career that, like yeah, it, 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 yeah. Could be, it could be. Um, it's hard uh, to judge sometimes. A harder too. question next, to answer. Next so, one: mm-hmm. Latrell Mitchell or Isaac Tago? Um, no. uh, oh, Tago has been amazing this past. Again, years. you can't compare but to Latrell Mitchell, man. Like. I remember um, yeah, I'm someone gonna... told me but when Latrell Mitchell was started at the Roosters, he said, "This I think it was my dad. Yeah, he goes, was... this guy's going to be the best player. And he's, he's, he's yeah, the right. best player. Spot on. Best. Yeah, like perfect. Yeah, so I think... He's a bit of Greg, Greg Inglis. Yeah. Well, he's the same situation as uh, as May Tiger. Like he's, they just started. Oh, they just, just started. He's a very good It's player. like comparing Ronaldo with Rashford. I feel yeah, Tiger's yeah, exactly. a better player. Than... Of course, you're going yeah. to watch it. Tiger's a better player than May. Yeah, that's yeah, what I yeah, said. Yeah, Tag yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah. Like again, already the three players we've chose and the three players we didn't choose. So the Penrith, they're all good players, but if you're comparing them to the Roosters, of course they're yeah. they're, they're better. So we'll go. See, but that's what I said. As a team, it's different. Yeah, compared individually. That's what I said. Individually, yeah. they're, individually. They're, they're better, but as a team, I'd say the opposite. See another one: Manu versus Croydon. But again, we're basing on that season, not like overall. Yeah, yeah, no, you just know based what I mean? on that yeah. season. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. This is a this is as actually a very, the toughest one. I feel so far out of all the ones you've answered, that's a tough as one. Mano was not as good as he is now. Yeah, but sorry. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. So I, I feel Crichton. He's Stephen Crichton is like as we said before, most clutchest player ever. Yeah, like, he yeah. steps yeah. up in the big moment. I feel I feel, I feel Crichton. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go Crichton. 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 If it was Manu now, I'd choose Manu. Yeah. 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 But Manu, Are you saying Manu now? Now, right now. No, no, but we'll talk about because Manu. We're talking about the season. Manu, see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Manu back then was still developing. Yeah. He was still a very good player, but not as he is now. Yeah. So if we're comparing them based on the, the, the two premiership reigns, I think it's Stephen Croydon. Croydon. Yeah, Croydon. So we'll go Croydon. Um, this one's a tough one. Next yeah, one. Yeah, go this one's tough. Yeah, go Brent Brent Morris and Brian Todd. Toto. That's, that's tough, man. Fuck, man. Look, Todd is an amazing player. We all know that. But there was, Brent Morris is like the best, um, for me, the best winger in the game. Yeah, he has to. And that's Peter it. Brent Morris? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got I'm the sure. most tries for, I think, in NRL history. Yeah. Or like, second most. He's up there, he's yeah. I think he was like 30 there and still playing that good. Like yeah. 30, at that 30, high level. At the high level. And Toro is such a good player, but I, I think we can't. We can't, we can't disrespect Morris. Brett Morris. No, he can't. He can't well, he is the chief too. Yeah, no, no, no. So Brett Morris. But borderline, bro, uh, Brian Toro. Border, borderline, man. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think he's border. right, right on, like, on, his, on his back. Brian yeah, yeah no, so, but I'm not saying like Brent Morris is a great, yeah, yeah, but, he's, but I feel like in this situation, bro, like that he's cutting a very close. We'll go Brent Morris. Um, yeah. Luke Nakiri versus Jerome Loy. I feel based on like their quality and the level they like, yeah. they play. Kiwi I think they're, they're they're sort of the same. So I think this is another. Tough, That's tough a one. 50 another 50 one. Yeah, I'm saying tough. I'm gonna say Loy. Man, again. I, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go. I think one. back in 2018, they versus Cowboys, and I said when I watched that guy, I said yeah, he's gonna Luai, be yeah, some, one of the best both. players in, Luai, in the game. Luai, Luai. Luai. Yeah, be, yeah I'm, I think I'll go Luai. Yeah, no, Man, I think what, he has more to offer. Like yeah. not just like it's more. Nothing, I remember player, how yeah, good yeah. Kiri was in back then. Yeah, he was very. Oh, good. Kiri's so good. Kiri's yeah, he was yeah, so good. Now he's having injuries a lot. Yeah, comparing back then. we're saying as we said. I'm I'm just gonna go Luai. Yeah, I'm saying I'm gonna say Luai. Me, I think I think I'm gonna go Luke Kiri. I'm gonna go Luke Kiri. Yeah, overall he was so good back in 18 and 19. I remember watching him. I'm gonna go Jerome Luai. Um, yeah, and also Luai made the Origin squad, so that's another. Another factor to consider. So, um, Coop, oh, this is a Coop this is a big one. This is a Cleary. big one. Man. That that's, that's that is a, a big one, man. Look, the only reason why I choose Cleary is because he guided a young Panthers team to yeah. the grand final twice, not once, twice. twice. And, and it's not that he Cooper wasn't Cronk, experienced yeah. that much. Like, the yeah. compared to Cooper Cronk, he's more experienced experience. at the age. He was like I don't know, thirty years old, thirty-one. Well, he retired uh, the last time. They yeah, won. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah. he had that experience where Cleary, he's still not developed. To where Kronk was at that time. Yeah, and, and we're saying he's a future go, Cleary. Yeah, and as you said, he, he brought he brought he brought a young side to win two. And back, that's back the, the stats we showed last week. Yeah. Um, at his age, he's Cleary's better than yeah, Kronk. Yeah. Um, but out of these teams, yeah, what do I'm, gonna go Cleary. I'm gonna go Nathan yeah, Cleary. I'm gonna go Nathan Cleary. No yeah. disrespect to like yeah, of course actually, Kieran no, Kieran. no, 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 no like I'm not saying he's bad no, or that, no, but no, like in this situation, like already as we go down the list, we mentioned earlier today about how Roosters have the better. Backline, yeah. but then when it comes to the props, it's more Panthers. More so Panthers. we go through. Yeah. Um, Jarrell Hargreaves or Moses Leoda? I, I think, think um, Jared, 
Again, this is a tough one, but... I want to say Jared. Yeah, I want to say it. I said Jared Wery. No, because he's still... That's why. Moses Yodel, he never... He wasn't a starter always. Yeah, he wasn't. Hargreaves was always a starter. And I think, yeah, this is pretty simple. I think Hargreaves. He's been on the... He's been really, like still. I can't believe he's still playing. Yeah, yeah. I know. like you just yeah. keep forgetting. He's how old is he now? I don't know. Thirty-three, I think. Yeah, yeah. still playing. Bro, yeah, so we. I think that's a simple one to answer. Yeah, Hargreaves will go. Jared Warrior, Hargreaves, Shabul. Yeah, he's yeah, said, right. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jake Friend or Coruscant? Uh, oh ooh, fuck! Yeah, Jake Friend. Such a he's a very good player, but I feel he. Coruscant is more skillful. Yeah, skillful. Yeah, he's got that talent. Jake Friend's. He's a. He works hard more. But Jake, again, Jake Friend's pretty, like, I don't know. He's like a pretty sick, like, that old type of hooker. Yeah, like, like you got the, he's not, sk- like, he's not skillful, he's like, nowadays. Like, he's not like a modern day hooker. He's yeah, modern, like, he yeah, modern day. Hooker. I'm going to go Coruscant. I'm going to go Coruscant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go Coruscant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking Friend. I don't know, but. Oh, let's go, let's go Coruscant. I think Coruscant. Yeah, Coruscant. Look, I haven't watched Jake Friend that much, but I feel he's just but that. I see what you mean. Like, hard working hooker. Yeah, yeah. Not like that Coruscant skillful skill. hooker. Yeah, he's got everything. He's got speed. Coruscant. Uh, last season was amazing. Like, oh, last season, yeah, it was amazing. Like, because he was, more, he was more used on the bench, so like he had that impact when he came on. I don't know yeah. why he's laughing. Really no, I just thought of something. No, just see what when he said that was amazing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, okay, that's yeah. all. Um, Isaac Lou, Lee, uh, how, whatever, however you pronounce it, um, versus James Fisher Harris. I think Fisher-Harris. Fisher-Harris. Yeah, Fisher yeah. Harris. I think that's easy. Yeah, that's, he's, that's, a, that's a very easy He's, he's always the, bit, like, you know, the VB hard work in depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's always, always up top. Yeah, the exact, he's always up top. Exactly. So, yeah, a I think, monster, bro. And I don't pretty, I don't know a lot about this Isaac Lubai. Louis, or well, Louis or whatever. But yeah. No, Fisher-Harris is a monster. Fisher-Harris, yeah. He's all, no, he's all, I think, back-to-back prop, um, prop, um, whatever. Prop, prop of the year. Of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Fisher-Harris. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um. Boy, co- boy corner or that's again again what we said about Jake uh, Friend corner, that corner. No, what again, I said about Jake boy Friend, corners yeah. I know I think they're, they're they're sort of the same players but I I don't know some boy corner did score a lot of tries corner was so good nah corner I'm, 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 I'm saying corner I'm saying corner kick kick is very good yeah, kick yeah, will get yeah. that you know I'll go corner I, I can't wait to hear what like the other people have to say. No, nah, yeah. So it's yeah. an interesting debate, like yeah, yeah, conversation. Is, is. Um, Mitchell Orbison versus Liam Arden. <laughs> what the call? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mitchell Orbison versus Liam Arden. So both of these players are underrated. They were underrated in the yeah. teams. Yeah. Liam Arden, Mitchell Orbison are pretty. Uh, again, they're pretty much the same players. Mm. Liam um, Arden, man. Uh, I want to say Liam Arden. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna go again. I too. can't compare the difference because, like you said, they're the exact same like type yeah, of player. Underrated, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, no one really speaks. But Liam, like, but Liam Martin, you can tell the difference when he's not there. Yeah, you, you can, can see. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. But, even yeah, like, I know, that's like a good point because it's, whenever it's, Panthers play without him, like as you, said, you know, like yeah, exactly. He's, they're missing their. So it's like yeah, it's like, like yo. back then when we didn't have Reynolds, he was that. That's like their. What's it called? See, Panthers. Yeah, that's yeah. like when he's not missing. There's no energy in that. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. someone exactly. that energy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So like that was like um, us with Reynolds. Me again. I can't choose, but I'm just gonna say Liam. Like, yeah, I feel that's like a very, very hard one to decide. This is a tough one. Victor Radley. Uh, Isaiah. Isaiah. Fuck man. You have the best of us. <laughs> uh, look, Victor Radley in that two that those back to back premiership. He was amazing. Like he was such a good player. Yeah. And now lately he's been. Always suspended. But again, yeah. we're basing it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just talking about. Oh, just, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm just mentioning it. Yeah, Radley was amazing in those two years. Zayo has been like I think lock of the year for yeah. two years in a row now. That's, so that's hard. I'm gonna say Zayo. Hey, bro, because yeah. I always, yeah. I, I always used to love Radley. The yeah, way yeah, 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 yeah. But it became so, so dirty. I used to love the way. Oh man, yeah, Victor Radley, man. I remember when watching when they won back to back. Yeah, yeah, he was such, years, such a good real. player, man. But now yo, I'll take your over, man. Surely, man. Yeah, surely you know why? Like, so again, if I want to build a team, quick. If I want to build a team, who would I rather want, Radley like, or Yo? Like say Yo. The way I say Yo, Yo it, brings something to the team. Because, because, yeah, he's he like, brings. He brings. I don't know, man. That's same as Victor Radley, but I reckon because this Premiership um team is fresh still. You remember yeah. how they? You know yeah, how they play. Exactly. Right? But I think because it's been like four or five years since you, this you team, forget really. You forget so how they play. Yeah. If they were really that good, but um, so yeah, it's very impactful, man. I'm just gonna go Isaiah Yo. Some I I'll go Yo, but Bradley. You're saying Bradley. Bradley, man, was. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'll go Isaiah. Okay, before we end this, so that means we've got 
How many Roosters players? So we find that we've so one, two, one. three, four, five, six, six seven, seven. seven. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, one, <laughs> we can be scouted. Four, Tedesco, Tupo, Mitchell. Bro. What Tedesco, Tupo, Mitchell, Minus. No, we said Crichton. Oh, the same one. oh fuck. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, six. But you said, I saw you said one. No, I didn't say one. No, yeah, he, he said, yeah, no, we said Crichton. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, um, so, yeah. Um, also, it's we're six gonna, to seven. Yeah. We're going to post um, this on our Instagram, get you guys involved, who you think's better, James, um, James Tedesco, Edwards, and so on. So, yeah, yeah um, so get I'm voting. Um, we'll post that as soon as our YouTube, um, this podcast is uploaded, so you guys can have a say on who you think is better. Um, so now we move on to the Premier League. Um, there's still one more game happening tomorrow, Man City versus Chelsea, but we'll have a quick discussion about the results and um, how everything evolved. Um, so yeah, um, it was a it was a very good week actually of Premier League um, football. The first game was um, Liverpool, I think, take on Brentford. Brentford won three one. Okay, yeah. When we're talking about this game, like, what's next for Liverpool after that defeat? I don't know. Look, before we, I move on to that, because again, they've got, so for this season, they won eight, they've drawn four and lost five, and they've won 28 very, points. Very, very inconsistent. Yeah. Like, um, Mark Goldbridge, um, he was saying about, now, if you lose against Brentford, it's not a surprise anymore. Because yeah, they're, yeah. they're actually a very good squad. They've beaten Liverpool, they beat United 4-0, they beat City 2-1 at Etihad. Drawn to they, Tottenham. Draw to Tom and they only lost against yeah. you 3-0. But Brentford now becoming a, a team that's a very hard team to beat. And Liverpool, like, I expect that's going to gonna really that. impact their chances of top four. Yeah, they're like um, seven points seven behind top four. That's, that's, that's massive, man. And Van Dijk still said um, the Van Premier League title is still on for them. No, I think, like, I, of course, you're going to say as a player. And again, t- Klopp's time is ticking. Yeah, like, I, I feel he could get the sack. I don't think soon. he will get the sack. I just think it's been one of those years where they're struggling. And I think... I, that, I feel Klopp has to... Change the way they play a bit, like because again they don't have the like Mane's. Are, yeah, I that's the biggest loss. Maybe for them. change like change the way they play. As you said, Mane's been a massive loss for him. Like who would have thought? Like one play would even the, the defense. Whole team. It's just I don't know what's Van going on. Dijk's not yeah. the best anymore. Alexander Arnold. He's he's slowly picking up form again. Yeah. But yeah, it just hasn't been the same Liverpool um, of old. The one again, you like, get that season, but you get that season. It's always going to happen. Um, soon, who knows? City might have their one next season, but you just don't know. Um, so there was four games that happened yesterday. We'll talk, we'll talk about, about first, the Arsenal, the Arsenal oh. Newcastle game. So yeah, that was a pretty intense intense match. Arsenal, like we dominated the game throughout the full ninety minutes. Yeah. Like Newcastle, they just were defending the whole game, parking the and bus, and like fall down, fall down, waste, waste time. That's how they play. I used to like Newcastle, but after watching that, like it's stressful. It's stressful. I yeah, can't like. like I, I just want them to struggle now like because we, after that match, when we drew against Newcastle nil nil. Like that was stressing because the amount of time they fall, waste time, injury. Like they just overdo it. And that's their tactics: just try and waste time, um, like save energy so they can. Just and again, try Newcastle and get a pole, normally against these type of teams, they they're more attacking, attacking more than rather than defensively. Yeah. In this game, they did not attack one game. I'm um, yeah, like, like one time during the game, it was just always defended because they know that if they attack, if they try to match how yeah. we play, they're going to yeah, get yeah, exposed because like, we're dangerous now, in attack. Of course, they're, they're, they've got a fresh team, new manager, and now they're finally in the top four. So, of course, they'd be playing like that. And fair, like, fair enough, that's how they want to play, get the point. Because it's a big point for them. And again, something. it's not a bad point for us. Yeah. We're still eight points cleared off Manchester City. Eight points. Eight points oh, cleared. Not, yeah, um, yeah not eight points cleared. Tonight. So, again, it's not the worst point, but we've got tough games coming up and we have to be ready. Yeah, because I was going to mention that. Now, oh, we'll talk about Man United game first. We won 3 0. We're just slowly getting better and better. Casemiro, best midfield in the Premier League right now, or even maybe even in the world. The way this guy plays, I feel if he wasn't in our team, we'd be struggling. Like, got, we're one injury away. If we have, if Marcio gets injured, we're in trouble. If because we have no striker, if Casemiro gets injured, we're gone. Like, do you think you have a chance at the title? No, no without, I was. I, I wrote oh, a yeah, here. Yeah. Now we're currently nine points off Arsenal. Arsenal take on Spurs and United next, and we have City and Arsenal. So if the results go our way, we can potentially be around three points behind you. But again, I see as this when Arteta first joined the club. We had periods where we were playing really good, yeah. like what you're do- you're doing now. Yeah, we're on winning streaks, yeah, yeah. unbeaten run. But again, it's more than that. It's like you're gonna have that period where you're gonna struggle yeah. again. That's and, what happened yeah. to us, and, and it's gonna take time. And that period will come when like the Europa League starts, yeah, the FA Cup starts. There's gonna be bound. The games get congested. 
a lot of matches playing. So you're going to rest players, bring these players on. So that all affects your the, yeah, like, the, the way you're going to play. I was talking to you're Nick. Moving up the ladder, moving down the ladder. So I was talking to Nick the other day about United. I don't... I don't believe they will contest for the, contend for no, the league. I don't think so. no but way. I feel next year if you get a big striker, because again, I feel it's not about big names. If you get the right type of striker yeah. that will suit the way Ten Hag yeah. wants to play, I feel that that's going to help you like try Ten and win Hag the league. It's like such a good manager the way, and he's got that. Um, like for example, Rashford um, just was late to the to training. I think it was like not not like an hour late, like maybe 10, 15 minutes late. Yeah. He dropped him, even though he was on such good form. He dropped him. He came on as a substitute and scored. So that just shows that he he wants the place to be scared of him, and so um, show that he has no favourites. If you do bad, if you don't follow the, like his rules, you're going to get dropped. And that's how it should be because players play better that way. Yeah. They, they, they have a manager that they're scared of, and when you have that, you want to do the best for him because you know if you do something yeah. wrong, he's gonna he's gonna come and that's like, right. attack you. Um, but yeah, th th those were the Arsenal main games. Probably the main games of those week. And um, tonight, today, Tottenham returned back four. to how they started the season, a big 4-0 win against Palace. What are your thoughts on that? Like, to be honest, I predicted um, Spurs 2 win, but like 2-1. Spurs are that team where they, they will lose and go on a bad form and then pick up a win like that. <laughs> what? No, just no, because it just stands it. Oh, you mean you're that, bro. Um, yeah, but Spurs, like, I wasn't expecting 4-0. Um, as I said, team inconsistency. They, they just play boring. They've got the North London derby and in I think two it, weeks. I think even that match, uh, Expressions were saying they played terrible and they still won against Palace. Years. So that just shows yeah. like, these teams are hopeless and, and again, there's not exciting to watch. Like, Conte wants more signs, but I feel they've signed the right players this year. Like, I feel oh, it's just excuses. Yeah, now like, to, for me, excuses. Yeah, like, just it's just in the Spurs. Like, yeah. any, any manager they get. They had Jose, the best manager in the world. Could have win it. Conte, now Conte now struggling like, to win, man. So yeah, I don't know. Spurs, I don't see them getting top four. Maybe you. I think they're going to go back to Conference League, to be honest. Yeah. Um, then more Chelsea, one of them. But yeah, just it's just yeah, it's they're just inconsistent. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, there were a few matches. Nottingham, Leeds, West Ham. That was yeah, West Ham's really struggling, but yeah, West Ham's like I think David Moyes on the brink. To yeah, get sack. I think he deserves a sack now. I think he's done all he can to push them where they are. Last season they were amazing, but there's always comes a stage where it all ends and it yeah. all goes crashing down. Like. It, like as I said, even Liverpool, how it's gone, it's gone down it's again, completely wrong for them. So yeah, it's 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 been an interesting week in the Premier League. Still got City and Chelsea. Yeah. That's a massive game. Both teams need the three points, but like I want, like of course Chelsea to win. Yeah. But I feel, I, I think they'll get a draw at least. Chelsea. Chelsea. I don't feel they'll win. I think City will win. I think De Bruyne to get a goal. Yeah. De Bruyne always shows up against Chelsea, but we'll see how that goes. Um, now, Bill, you can get into this conversation. I'll never shut up for that long in my life. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> um, Ronaldo joins out Al Nas Nas Nasar, I think that's oh, it. Al Nasir, Al Nasir, something oh, like that. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you think about it? Nah, what, I mean, is it the end of Ronaldo? Nah, I feel. I feel like, uh, yeah, it surely has to be the end of Ronaldo. Yeah. Where's he going to go after this? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, it's it's done. But see, see, see the uh, uh, the welcome he had. Yeah, like so, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like they worship him. Cause that was like, big. Bro. It had flares in the whole yeah, mind. I, I had goosebumps when I watched it. Like, yeah, like, wow, man. Like, yeah. But well, you can tell his uh, his family's not too happy. Yeah, yeah that's why I was yeah, about yeah, to bring yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah. Because like, no offense, but like, like you've been to Europe. Like he's been to Spain, and like to go down there, like yeah, it's, probably it's, like it's, it's, it's the it's, last place to think of going. To. That's his. That's his. Um, his, his last retired club. Retired club. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you feel retired? Yeah. Oh. Because Phil moved to Portugal. He said, yeah, oh, maybe sporting to end his career. Oh, maybe. Because he, he said he had so many, he had offers from Europe, Australia. Australia. Um, I think he was basically Europe, so basically, everywhere. The world. A lot of people wanted him, yeah, but yeah. he apparently he wanted to help this. But I just think he wanted the money. No, just the money. But how greedy could you be? Bro? But it's so ironic like, how he said he was never going to join a Dubai or Qatar club. Yeah, yeah, he said that like, oh, back uh, uh, many years back. And now, now the look at his doing now. He's getting the bag. He's getting the bag. Money talks. He has twenty three cars or something. Yeah. And he still wants the like, money. Yeah. It's like 200 million. That's a lot. That's heaps, man. That'd be hard to reject. Was, yeah, that's. Who, who'll be stupid to reject that money? Like, honestly, money. like no one would think to go to a Saudi league. Yeah, no. Yeah. If it wasn't for the money. Yeah, and no, I think yeah. he's paying tomorrow like morning. 
Is playing no, there's tomorrow. a game tomorrow, Anyhow, so he'll be there. It's going to be the end of watching Ronaldo because not a lot of people are going to... In America, apparently, they, there's, no, there's no way to watch that league. Apparently, no, that's yeah, what so that's And now because he's joined the club, a lot of big players are linked to that club. I like yeah. can't say yeah, okay. Sergio Ramos. Yeah, yeah. I get the money, man. Mod, it's yeah, all about now, money. Yeah. now the league will start to get bigger there. Start to get bigger because now Ronaldo's game, he started yeah. it. Yeah. I think Sergio Ramos might go there, join really? him. So, like, there's a lot of players on the... Is his son still in Real Madrid? He signed for the Yeah, he signed for the Real Madrid. He's still there. Yeah. yeah, no, he so played for United. United. Played for United. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's, yeah, he recently signed like, for Real Madrid. That news came out before we knew. Before, now yeah, signed. he signed for Real Madrid. So is he staying with Yeah, yeah, yeah he's staying there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. That's it. Now it's, now it's all about building up Ronaldo Jr. Yeah. Ronaldo's uh, done in a way. Yeah, yeah, he's about building, building, building his career. Imagine he's playing for me United one day. Like, all right, he would. Um, Ronaldo Jr. Son, yeah. He would. If he What's his actual name? Ronaldo Jr. Oh, shit. I thought that just was his name. No, that's his name. Yeah, no. But, yeah, I think that's his retirement. Yeah. He's there, Messi's well, just won the World Cup, exactly. still playing in Again, the, do you feel the Champions League. He has one more big chance in a big club. Ronaldo. I, I think he's saying one I, year no, max there. I, mean, I don't no. see him saying two you, years. You think he's going to stay? Is, no, is no, he's signed for two years? Two years. No, two I think years. Like, he's what, 38? For me, I feel, I just don't see him joining this club and going back to a big team. Yeah. I, I, think I don't know. That's I, don't know. Club, I think that's it. He's like, again, if no big club wanted him now, what's going to like, what well, yeah makes him buy next year. There's one more stint in uh, Real Madrid, San Scudi. Yeah, maybe. Oh, like, you never know. Could, could he want, apparently, the... he wanted to join Real Madrid, but yeah, they never yeah. came. Like they didn't. No, yeah, he went for a training session, yeah. just like the training was on. No, maybe not. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. Anyways, moving on to the next topic. Uh, so, boys, came out today that uh, Dylan Dennis yeah. is put out of the KSI fight. What are, what are our thoughts on what are the, like me? I don't know. It's just very good. Like I don't know. It's just weird that another fight has been. Cancel, not cancel, like yeah. someone has left the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's it's just, it doesn't make sense. It happened twice. Um, who was the other one? Um, um, who was um, Wasabi? Wasabi. Wasabi, yeah. Wasabi. Yeah, like uh, apparently, there's a, uh, what's his name? Put out a tweet. <laughs> uh, Dylan Dennis put out a tweet. It's like, there's more to the, it's like fake news. I reckon there is. It's like, he's saying there's more to the yeah, story. No, I reckon there is. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, it could, could be a contract like, negotiation, something in the contract. Yeah. But something did come out about the hydration clause. Um, about how much you can rehydrate, how much you can put on yeah, when the so fight time comes. So there was a bit of dispute about that. I don't know, maybe it is like because of that. that cause like a it could, fight, it could, but I feel Dylan, Dylan Dennis is a bitch, man. Is he? He's a bitch, yeah. bro. I reckon he just put it, I reckon he got scared. Because honestly, he had no team around him. He didn't have like a like a full yeah, team yeah. around him in his corner. Yeah, yeah. He was training, I think his mate was training him. Um, oh, so it wasn't really he, he wasn't making team. weight. He wasn't oh, making okay. weight. He was still overweight, mm. and we're only like a week, two weeks yeah, out. So, so I feel he pulled mate, out because he was not ready. When was this fight supposed to happen? January 14th. January. Oh, who's so. yeah, yeah. And so, now he's versing. Oh, who's he versing? Who? Face Temper. Oh, Face oh, Temper. Is That's he good? Another one. That's another thing we should talk about. He is. He's, he's good, but he got knocked out against uh, Sleep. Oh, yeah. That's what Slip. I think he should have. Case I should have forced him because a lot of these fighters called him out. Yeah. But it's like he's picking the ones he feels he can, like he, he can be. He, can be. He, picks, yeah. he picks his fighters, case side. But that, that would be a very good um level for him, case side. Case side versus Slim. Yeah, that would have been. So Temple, yeah. Temple would be the whole narrative now with the side men versus a uh, face clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be a good yeah, narrative. Other than that, I don't know, man. Would, man what does the side men on case side? Exactly. Like, what what should the face side? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What should case side yeah. be worried about face Temple? Like, what should should be worried about? Like, his boxing oh, talent, man. his skills. Very simply, his hands, his, his hands are low, man. Like, all of his YouTubers, yeah. boxers, their hands so are like low. KSI. Like KSI. Uh, like, um, I think KSI has maybe just got... He's a good counter puncher. No, no, he's a good fight, you reckon? No, face temper, don't get... Like, he's got good counter punches. Like, the way he can receive punches and counter yeah. offer him. If... if uh, that could that could actually be a disadvantage it's, for I reckon um, KSI. I reckon it'll be a good fight. I, I think, I think it won't be easy for him. Yeah. But I still think KSI will win. I feel decision. I don't feel KSI is going to get knocked out. I don't feel he's got power K side, but I don't think he's gonna get that knockout. He hasn't had a knockout in his career, has he? No, no. Like he's had, only had like I don't know really yeah. have a knockout. Oh, okay. oh, um, he's had swarms, yeah. I think, and that Joe Willock, I think too. Yeah, but, but swarms. Was, was that a knockout? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like, knockout. Swarms, like, yeah, but it wasn't like he knocked him out flat like Tyron Woodley, uh like oh, Jake Ward did too. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna make a statement where I can't wait. K Sai needs to make a statement. He has to. I think K Sai wants to slowly yeah, yeah. Well, just, just about the more, the more and more I hear about these Come fights, on. it's taking like, like face temper. Yeah. Um, about Dylan Dennis. Oh, Dylan Dennis would have could have been a good devil. Yeah. But bro, just get get these big fights. Like I know Jake Paul's fighting these uh, old retired boxers and uh, UFC fighters. Yeah. But get get like. 
Get like credible names, like I'm being, yeah. You know like I'm mean? saying, after this fight, he needs a big fight, like big because name yeah, it's like, a big like, name. A slim, how many times are you gonna verse Jake Paul? Slim, slim, very how, yeah. how many times are you gonna verse these like average boxers and unknown? Like, you're name. not gonna really know how good you are. Exactly. So yeah. you want that not that great boxer, but you want a decent uh, boxer that's yeah. gonna like give you a test and you can show your skills and show yeah. people like like what you're made of. So do like, you think K side? knows he's not ready to verse these big name boxers yeah maybe. or is he afraid to verse them I, I, don't, I don't think he's afraid i feel he's just he sees how good jake paul is and yeah. he doesn't want to get that fight straight away because yeah. yeah, he knows he'll get knocked out and that's what that's again, honestly, oh, that's reality that's what's going to happen yeah, yeah. you get knocked out no, I like i've watched his youtube so. videos that like yeah. he like talks so highly about himself he's good at boxing yeah. he's improved so then why don't you verse we'll see what happens a big name boxer. i don't know just we'll see after this fight versus face tempo yeah, yeah, yeah. see yeah, where his levels are so he's not scared he's just he's smart he he's, he's playing a smart yeah, yeah. he wants to pick the right fighters uh, so yeah guys let's get into a new segment called everything is on the line so basically i'll be giving them eight questions and the winner of that quiz the winner will get, have the opportunity to give the loser a forfeit at the end of the video so yeah let's so get underway for now okay. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes i thought already i'm gonna put my fucking house in it bro i'm, I'm smashing you in this trivia man <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so keep laughing, bro. Put my house in there, man. Okay, okay. I'm putting my house in there. Calm down, calm down. Let's go. Okay, first question. We're back at school. Yeah. How many premierships have Sydney Roosters won? A12, B13, C14, or D15? Okay. So we're going to reveal the answers at the end. Yeah, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next question. How many World Cups has Pele won? Is it A2, B3, C4, or D1? <laughs> no, did you look at it? No, I didn't look at it. Good, good, good. Right. Okay, next question. Are you ready? Yeah. Who is the only boxer who officially knocked Floyd Mayweather Jr. down during a fight? Is it A, Mike Tyson, B, Miguel Cotta, C, Oscar... Cotto. Cotto, whatever. <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya, or D, Carlos Hernandez? Tell, tell okay, so A, yeah. Mike Tyson, yeah. B, Miguel Cotto, C, Oscar De La Hoya, or D, Carlos Hernandez? You can't on that one? I don't know this one at all. Okay, next one. Ready? Yeah. Got your answers? Yeah. Question four. Who did Daniel Bryan beat to get a place in the WrestleMania 30 main event? Is it A, Triple H, B, Rusev, C, Dean Ambrose, no, C, Dean Ambrose, or D, Roman Reigns? Can I say it again? Okay, next, I'll say it again. Who did Daniel Bryan beat to get a place in the WrestleMania 30 main event? Is it A, Triple H, B, Rusev, C, Dean Ambrose, or um, D, Roman Reigns? This is this is the one that's going to end Samuel, your I feel Samuel, this end uh, Samuel. Samuel's panicking a bit. This will end yeah. your Samuel. Okay, okay. okay next one. Question five. Who holds the most tries in State of Origin? Is it A, Slater? D Gagai, C English, um, <laughs> Inglis, or D Valentine Holmes. Oh, fuck. I'll say it again. Say it again. I'll say A Slater, B Gagai, C Inglis, or D Holmes. Oh, that's hard. That could be anyone. Uh, Guys, there's oh, no timer, so take your time. Fuck. That that that's what I said. That could be anyone. Like anyone. Say it again one more time. Yeah, one more time. Okay, so the question or just the actual answer. Yeah, okay, yeah. so A Slater, yeah. B Gagai, C Inglis, or D Holmes. I'm actually nervous. Most you tries guys. in origin. Most tries in origin. Yeah, most tries in origin. Yeah. I think I got it. I think I got it. Surely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Question six: How many goals has Messi scored for Barcelona in 778 games? Is it A, 680, B, 672, C, 681, or D, 671? Say it again. Say, is it 680 goals, B, 672 goals, C, 681 goals, or C, 671 goals? What was, what was B? 672. What was D? D, 671. I thought it was either them. Because why were you separated at one? Fuck. They're all, they're all the 600s, man. Oh, no, no. I made them close together. Okay. Okay. So you got it? Okay. 
Question seven, what was the final score in the 2015 grand final? Was that A, 18, 19? So Broncos and Cowboys. A, 18, 19, B, 14, 15, C, 17, 18, or D, 16, 17? Fuck, come on, guys, you're there to witness it. What's C and D again? Wait, C, you mean? Yeah, what's C and D? Oh, C, 17, 18, and D, 16, 17. Okay, okay. Confident. Yeah, confident. Locking my answer. I feel this is going to go down to the wire. Oh, okay. Easy, easy win. Easy win. Sorry. Last question. How many games has um, Khabib won in UFC? Is it A29, B28, C27, or D26? What would be it? B28. Oh, oh, okay. A29, B28, yeah. C27, and D26. Okay, boys, let's, let's reveal the answer. Good luck, shake hands. <laughs> no, 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 hold on, hold on, bro. I'm trying to be a good fucking sport. Yeah, let's see, thanks, bro. My bitch. Okay. Anyways. So, the first question was how many premierships have Sydney Roosters won? What did you put? C. C, what did you put? Said B. Unfortunately, you're both wa- wrong. 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 What? I said wrong, I changed it. The mo- well, of course, it was D. They've won 15. Oh, I thought it was 13, bro. So that's wrong. Yeah, that's all right. um, What did you put? C. C. I think, I think Question two. How many World Cups has Pelo won? I think that's simple. B. B. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, boys. Oh, yeah, By the way, rest boys. in peace to Pelé. Yeah, rest in peace. One of the greatest plays yeah, ever. In uh, football. Goat. He's one of the goats. He'll never be forgotten. Uh, next one. Who is the only boxer who... Officially knocked down oh, Floyd Mayweather. Oh, for the heck. Yeah, it's Mayweather so Jr. Oh, down Jr. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Question three. Who was the only boxer who officially knocked down Floyd Mayweather Bro, Jr.? I've got a better idea. Huh? i got a better idea. Do you want to see who, who got it right? Oh, me? Yeah, and then okay, we'll give us that. the answer. Okay, we'll do that. Fine. Right. Just no, let's mark, let's mark it. Why? Uh, I find it's Okay, we'll just do it. Oh, I now. reckon, no. Say it, but we won't say if we got it right or wrong. No. Oh, okay. No, no, okay. okay. Quickly, question three, who is the only boxer who officially knocked Floyd Mayweather Jr. down during a fight? Yeah. What'd you put? B. C. You're both wrong. Yes. It's Carlos Hernandez. Yes. Hernandez. It was back in 2001. To knock him down? Yeah. Yes, I'm happy, bro. Oh, look, look, I know I'm fucking dumb. Yes. I was thinking about when he got rocked. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Because right. that's that's right. that's right. that was your oh. advantage, bro. That's boxing. I've got another question oh. if it goes this back to the insider. Yeah, easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, bro, 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 that. okay. <laughs> this is going to be close. Oh, bro, bro, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm actually scared. You should know. I'm scared, bro. 2001, that's when it still here. I thought we had that. Okay, next question. Who did Daniel Bryan beat to get a place in the WrestleMania 30 main event? Hey, correct. Yeah, well done. You know you're WWE. Stop. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Who? Oh, this no, is, this is a good one. This, I, I'm not sure you guys put. So who? You said we got a script of Samuel. No one said that, right? <laughs> 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 who holds the most try in Sailor Origin? What did you put? Hey. Double D. You're both wrong. Oh no, Greg, Greg Inglis. I was gonna put that. Oh, oh, right, yeah. Guys, I think you need to go back to school and. Start this sport or something. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. How many goals has Messi scored for Barcelona in 778 games? B. B. What did you say? D. What did you say? D. 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 Uh, so someone that has got. Oh, no! No! no, 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 no someone that has got. Oh, yeah. One was. Um, is it no. a 672 or 672? This is an, I, 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 feel, just I, feel, I feel really it's this one. I actually feel this is Okay. It's me. Look, look, look. Say my name. Say my person. name. Okay, say yours again quickly. Uh, me. Say my me. name, Shabu. Say my name. Hello. Say my name. Oh. Say my name. There he is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. 672 goals I during his time at Barcelona. 671. I remember I saw a stat earlier, like not set back today. Is it six, seven, two? What are the chances? Fuck you, Samuel, bro. I'm still winning. You got two more. No way. Okay, I'm a good. Oh, don't no, rush. Sit down. Oh, leave it, leave it. Leave it. Yeah. Right. Perfect. Are you happy now? Sorry, bro. It's not over. Okay, yet. it's not over. There's still two more. It could go decider. Oh, 
What was the final score in the 2015 grand final? B. B. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so look, okay. I'm, in a good, I'm in a good scene now because all I can just draw now. You're gone. You're gone. Okay, final question. Oh, right, shit, dude. Boy, um, can I take the house? <laughs> <laughs> you want to take the house, eh? Yeah, hey, good. No Tension a bit. I'm, I'm fine now, I'm relaxed. No, no, I'm still winning. Why are you sweating I'm a bit? Tired, You're sweating. Yeah, no, okay. Okay, wait, before. For Samuel to look, win look, it. Look, look. There's no point because I already saw his answer. A, I call A. Yeah. <laughs> 29. <laughs> Samuel's one. Okay. Okay. Now wait. Now because Samuel has one, he gets yeah, to choose the forfeit the for Bill. Okay. So the forfeit's gonna go on TikTok. Um. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. It's been a bang of episode, yeah, and we'll episode. see you guys soon. I don't want to take the fucking forfeit, man. Oh. <laughs>